successfully injected our numbers, but the problem is it's got like these really large decimals for some of the numbers that you do that are just, you know, large. It's not really nice. So let's install a package called Elm format number format number. And I'm going to use the Kudikos. So it's very similar to NPM. You just install package. Good to go. And up top, we're going to import the float formatter. And there's actually two that you need. The first is you need the locale that you're in. That'll format that number in the way that you want to see that locale with some modifications. And then the general formatting function. And they kind of work together. So you format a function, but you kind of have to give it some locale information on how you want it to look. Given all Celsius and the Fahrenheit, we want them to look the same. We'll just say format temperature. We'll make a generic function that works with both. And it takes some kind of like number in a float. So we call the format function and we pass it a configuration. So it's going to be the US locale that I have. This could be your location as well if you're doing something outside of the US. But I don't want any more decimals beyond two. So we'll say decimals equals max of two. And if you're wondering where this max comes from, it's part of the decimals type at the very top. See how I did like the dot dot? That means expose everything inside that type. So decimals dot max, min, whatever. I want a maximum of two decimals. I'm okay with less, but I don't want more than two. And then we pass the float to this second parameter of the format function. So format takes whatever, how you want the number to be formatted for your locale with some configurations, if you so choose, right? You could do the default and then the actual number. So now that we have this function that'll format temperature, let's change this to float. And we'll do this instead. Pipe it to the format temperature. So we hit compile. And whoops, it's actually lowercase. Whoopsie! It's a property value. And that's a number. Man, compilers are awesome. There we go. So we'll go back to our 82. And now it's only two decimals. So a lot easier to read. And you know what? We'll just do one. 82 should be 27.8. Fantastic. And we can go back the other way as well. So it's 80.6. So yeah, 27. Generally, I think, what is it? What is it? 82 is kind of like my minimum. Yeah, so if 27.8 is the minimum that I would ever fly outside of the United States to Europe or South America, if it's not at least 27.8 Celsius, I'm in big trouble. So that's the basics of doing a formatter of a number from a decimal perspective of the data we already have. We're just changing it just for the field. So we're not making any changes to our model. We're just doing it for whatever's actually injected into the field itself.